Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fana, I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for January, I'm sorry, for February 5th, 2016. The Daily Moon is in Capricorn, it's a good working day, but it's also making all these sextiles, sextile to Sirius, then later on sextile to Neptune, a day that we could really enjoy ourselves in too, and just uh, lay back a little and enjoy nature or enjoy some, uh, some recreational activity in that sense. But, you know, there are all kinds of things that are going in the sky. We've been talking about them in the last forecast. Let's uh, mention them again. First of all, the sun is querying Mars. It's a time that we need to be careful from accidents, from impulsivity, from being too aggressive, or from any action that is not well thought over. Mercury is trining Jupiter in the sky. How beautiful that the planet that is in charge of what we think and what we say is working together with the great teacher in the sky. So this is really a time that we can understand the big picture, that we can uh, expand our horizons and our knowledge, and we are really asked to go that extra step forward and step outside our comfort zone so we could really understand some new material and work on it. Venus is still heading to a conjunction with Pluto, so this is a time that we demand truth in our, in our lives and in our relationships. And once something is not hidden anymore from our eyes, we need to acknowledge it and address it. Oh, the light suddenly stopped, but we'll go on. Um, it's a time that we could be struggling for authenticity, for something real within our lives. And, you know, the, the longer we keep uh, unacknowledging it and not addressing it, the greater the intensity and the greater the drama in our life could be. So really this is a time to address things now before they can become volcanic. And Mars is sextiling Pluto and quincunxing Uranus. It's a time that we want to rebel, we want to be impulsive, but we are really asked to work everything out and act in a higher and more evolved manner and work for a greater goals than our own ego goals, things that are better, that are good, not only for ourselves, but for our surroundings and the world in general. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a beautiful weekend and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.